Oh, here I go. Okay, hi. Hi, good evening. I gotta plug my camera in. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Sandwich. Sandwich. Oh, okay. Well, I just want to say, I don't know if anybody is here yet, but hi, this is June from Oakland Witch Lanes, lovely craft of people, and I have Martha here. Also, because I know Martha has gotten has uh, gotten some goodies, and we want to see the goodies. Oh, look at that! Live. <laughs> wow, she didn't have a slow introduction to get everybody. You know what? Whatever. What I needed a slow introduction. Well, I, I always wait a few minutes when I get oh, my people okay, in, and then so we then talk a little bit, and then we go live. Oh, okay. But no, you right. just right on that button. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. I don't think anybody's here, but that's okay. You just right on that button. You put Hi, it in my. Oops, oh, wait a minute. Hold put on it in my group. Here, but that's okay. Okay, I had a little problem there. Okay, well, we're going to wait a little bit for people to come in, or we're just going to continue to, and they could look at the beginning of this video if they want to go back. What do you think? You're the only one here? I, I put the uh, YouTube link in the... Um, oh. I did put the link in. I think I did. I'll, there we go. Barbara's here. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Pamela. Good, we're getting some people. I'm getting the StreamYard chat. I thought I had the YouTube chat. Hold on. Here we go. Hey, Barbara. I'm trying to put it in all in the details, but what the world? It's not letting me do anything. Oh, hi, Michael. I'm so glad you're here. Can you hear me? Oh my God! I can't even get in there. Still going around. I hear you fine and dandy. I know. Okay, well, I'm only going to stay on till about nine o'clock because I have to go and cook and clean up for my son because he's getting home late tonight. But I just wanted to show everybody what I was doing or trying to accomplish. Oh, you're putting your checkerboard together. Yes, I made a checkerboard polymer clay cane and I followed the instructions um, from, from Maureen Carlson, which was one of what I feel like the pioneers in polymer clay uh, a long time ago. I have an article. I should have taken the article out before I went live. I forgot to do that because, you know, I'm always getting up. Hey, hey, Telly. I'm always getting up and running to get stuff, but this was her checkerboard cane that she used to make a Santa. So I just decided to try it because I liked the idea of how it looked like for a bathroom floor. Oh well, yeah, yeah. So I made this and I left it in my refrigerator just to get the cane hard because it makes it easier to cut. And I'm just cutting down slices, trying to be as even as possible and laying them down on this round wood. Now, I just want to show you this. It's not done yet. But this is going to be, Martha, can I just go on me all and yeah, then I'll, I'll go please in. Please do. Please and then do I'll, I'll, I'll split. Okay, hold on. Go ahead. This is my castle. The outside of the castle. Cool. And this is now the inside is nowhere near finished. So there's a lot of work that still has to be done. But how this is going to be set up, let me just get my cane out of the way. Is I'm going to put this floor right in here. One of the things that I have to figure out is what steps to do first. So I've been spending a lot of time on figuring out what steps to do first. I originally wanted to put this wooden piece and attach it to the back. And I was going to do that with either um, a, a two-part epoxy glue or that E6000 and some screws just to make sure it stays. And then I was going to put the polymer clay tiles on the wood but I'm not sure how that 
those kind of epoxies and glues react in the oven. So I thought, because I've never used them, I've put uh, super glue in the oven and that's fine. I, nothing has happened, but I've never used the other ones. So I decided to do the floor first because there will be trim. I will be putting um, popsicle sticks here to make it look more like beadboard. So there will be trim there. And um, I will, will be, then I will be able to glue it. So these two p and screw it in. So these two pieces will never separate. Because whenever you make something, especially if you're trying to sell it, you have to make sure it's secure enough that when you put it in the mail, it won't come apart. Right. And uh, basically, that's what I, that's what I'm up to doing. This is not finished. This still has to get painted. I have to put a window in. Um, I was going to say, a round window in a castle. Come on. Yeah, well, it's a witch's castle. She can have round windows. Oh, yes, yeah, she can. And there's a lot of <laughs> that I'll be putting around, like uh, the baseboard and the trim over here and a little shelf because I bought some little lights. I'm going to try to make candles that I have to figure out where I'm going to put. And I can run the wire. So before I put the wooden popsicle sticks here, I have to figure out where I'm going to put the candles so I can run the wire under the popsicle sticks so you wouldn't see the popsicle sticks. I mean the wire. And then I just have to figure out where to put the battery pack. So there's a lot of things that I'm trying to place ongoing, but at least we got the basic structure so I can work with that. Oh, yeah, you best put putting all them wires and stuff in before you put the base on. Yes. Definitely. Well, I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is that I can either put the light switch. I'm not going to attach the bathtub, the witch in the bathtub on this. I'm not going to attach it because that's going to that's gonna be heavy and this is going to be heavy. And shipping it all in one piece is going to be impossible because there's too many. I cannot wrap it well enough where I don't think it's going to break. Right. So I figured I'm going to make this as a separate piece and the bat and the witch in the bathtub is a separate piece. And when they get it, they can just put the witch in the bathtub right on top of this. However, which way they want to do it. I'm going to show pictures of how I think it should be done, but they have the choice once they buy it. So that's what I'm up to. I'm trying to put the, the slice the canes very thin. I got a new polymer clay blade. And let me tell you, I forgot how sharp these they things are. are. Yeah. Because mine, my original one, and I keep looking to make sure I'm picking up which one. Mine is so old. It has the notches. It's, it's sharp, but it's not like this one. This one will cut you if you just try to pick it up from the blade part. So... I'm going to split the screen now so Martha can show you all of those lovely things she purchased that we're all can't wait to see what she has. All right. And then maybe I can go make a sandwich. Oh, sorry. I interrupted your sandwich. <laughs> she says, well, I'll go live. And it's like, oh, good. Maybe I got a chance to go have a sandwich first. No. Hi, okay, Jordan. Well, Hi, Christine. Anybody want to come on? You're all welcome. I got the page done. I just finished the page up. So here's my little thing. I don't know about the back of it, but I, I don't care at the moment. But there's that. Well, wait a minute. Back up, people. There's the page. Wait, wait. Can I? How do I get it so that I show you? Only you. Um, Go in the bottom. Wait a minute. Go over there. Right. Don't <laughs> Hover over me. And it'll don't stay. start pointing more. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We're pointing again. Yeah. Okay. So I go. In, it's our I, brain working. <laughs> I, I got. I go. I go in the little blue the box right that you're in under the main screen. Yeah, and hover over me, and it'll say something, and then click Solo on it. Solo layout. Yep. There, there you go. go. Ooh. Okay. And then I lost the chat again. Okay, hold on. Here we go. All right. Got that page done. And I bought, and I'll show you what I bought, but I put some um, Wink of Stella around. And then here's the other page. And I decided to do black on the edges to match the other one. So we've got our 
little thing here. So that's my page is done. This that's is done. beautiful. Done, done, done. All right. So we'll put that away. Um, Everybody's saying it's beautiful, Martha, and Telly's had a day. So we'll hear about Telly's day. Telly, come on in if you want to talk. I bought these at... <coughs> come on down. Oh, I didn't take the focus off. Hold on. I plugged it in and she was already live. Jeez. Yeah, we don't mess around, Martha. I, I told you. So I bought these at the wedding section. And they were all 50. The wedding section was like 50% off. And these look great. Are they fabric? Um, Wait, we didn't see them. Are they like fabric or paper or are they metal? They're, um, they're kind of like a fabric. Oh, yeah, how nice. Kind of like a fabric paper. That's like, wow, perfect. And then they got, if you hit the light on them just right, it's got a little tint of purple in them. Um, then I got these, these little purple flowers, which are different sizes, and my magnets came in, oh yay, these are nice, and through one, two, three, four, like five pieces of paper, three, four pieces of paper, it's barely working, so we're not going to do that again, and I also bought some of these the half pearls are bigger than the ones i've got but i was looking for a package that were like different sizes but no so hi shirley shirley oh and the light works oh the light too you got a light look at that yeah but one thing when you get um one i'm loving because you got to push down, push that way, and then pull. But one thing I'm not liking is I barely can see the numbers. I don't have no measurements over here. This, you got to kind of lift up in order to open because it's got a little, oh, right here. It's got a little locking mechanism. Wow. But Jesus goes to 7, 18, seven, 18 inches. So I'm I'm so far that's cutting the paper perfectly. Perfectly. I'm loving it. So that was uh uh, uh Amazon for $18. Okay, then along with my Amazons. Oh, let me find out the other one. Oh god. I've lost it already. Figures I would. I bought me this. A die. Which cuts out that. And I think on one of the pages, I want to put this on there and put whirlwind. Like a whirlwind romance, you know? Oh, that those are beautiful. Aren't them cute? I love this. I love filigree stuff. Then I got... Oh, yikes. I got another one if I can find it. It's up here somewhere. Oh, here it is. I got this one, which I seen somebody use, and I happened to find it for a really darn good price. But you take and you can stack it, and you make little Christmas trees. Little snowflakes, the star for on top, and I forgot what them are for. I have that one, too, for some reason. I don't even remember how I got it, but I have that one, and I don't know what the... I think it's a stoplight. <laughs> you could <laughs> use it if you're making a street thing. Yeah. I have no idea of what that's for. Yeah, so this it doesn't is... Make any cool. sense. Look how tiny that little snowflake is. I'm excited about them three, because them are tinier than what I got. But, yeah, them were pretty cool if you stack them all up, make your little tree. Oh, my God. Cool. Well, I got oh, then, huh? I got those because when you want to make a Santa and you want to make your own tree, it's very hard to find something that looks realistic. And then after 
I, I don't remember if I bought it. I, I don't even, you know, when I have things, you, all of a sudden you find things in your drawer. I remember looking at when you were doing all those leaves and stuff like that. I said, wow, I really should try to find something. And I guess I did because I have it. <laughs> I <laughs> even good to put, you know, like your holly berries and, you know, it don't have to be a tree, but it's good little branches. So they there's a beautiful use branch. for that. But I'm going to have to figure out what that's for again. I really don't know. I, I just think it's a traffic light. I'm going with traffic light. I don't remember. I don't know. Okay, then I ordered me one of these. What is that? Now, mind you, I was trying to use that $25 gift certificate that Polly gave me, but that would not work. I literally had to call and do something to get that thing working. But I got me some new, steady, and sturdy cuticle pusher oh and here i am thinking that that would be wonderful to sculpt with it probably could be because look look what come with it oh that that's a clay remover yeah oh mm. that's nice martha yeah i don't have a good set and the one that i had it was just a black little tiny plastic thing and i broke it off it's like i need a nice sturdy yeah, so I was pretty happy with that. Not a bad price, neither. I forgot what I paid for it. Okay, now I also got my goodies sent from me from Phyllis Shadowins. And Phyllis, you overwhelmed me. I just, I figured a few little things, but oh my God. So, here we go. One of them I got in here, I think. Or I threw it in the box already. I threw it in the box. Just the loads of stuff. Oh my god. I mean, this box is almost like full. Okay, so we've got flowers, embellishments. We've got more flowers. And these are got, uh, let's see. Yeah, they're the same. It's kind of like an organza. With satin. Isn't that the one from Phyllis? Yeah. Look at these babies. Oh, they're gorgeous. Now, those are, you're going to use them in your scrapbook? Uh, she sent these for me to use in this wedding album. Oh, the wedding album. Sorry. And when I was at hobby lobby yesterday i was looking at all the wedding stuff and i was getting ideas up the yin yang that i could make at home but these i really like wow. and then she sent me some of these the kind of ab rhinestone and oh my goodness the stuff she sent it just oh my lord metal frames these are so cool these are really cool more flowers a frame I'm not sure if I'm going to use it in here or not, but I might. Let's put these back, I guess, before I lose them. Lord, I've been finding things all over my table. It's like, no, no, no. Okay, then this is really cute. Little, little flowers. I got too much light on me, don't I? Let's try no, that. I can see them. Little hearts. And these little bobbles. Wow, you are. It's you like, have... that's why I've been trying to ask people, like, where are you finding all this good stuff? And look at this. Oh, got to use this on here somewhere. That's really pretty. Oh, wow. Sorry, I was cutting the cane. I can't look up. That is beautiful. Yeah, very, very nice. I mean, geez, I thought a few things, but geez. 
Look at this baby. Oh, this ain't the one I really, really like, but this pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And another. Wow. More pearls, which I got to put in my other box. I'm putting all my top stuff over there. And this. I'm not sure that's another one of them, I think. So she sent me some of them little purple flowers. And it's got pink hearts. And a little heart button. Oh, we'll go through that one last because I didn't even look in that one yet. Um, look at this little bag. I don't know how I can use that in there. A dragonfly. Beauty, beautiful. Yeah, look at all that. Oh, this one I think is really cool. It's hard to tell with them all in the bags, though, huh? And these. Yep. Even two with pinky. It looks like a peach color to me. But I wanted to get some of these. I had no idea where to buy these at. I think I got who wanted to wait a month to get them from across the seas, right? Here's another one. And this, let's check this out. Oh, it's a bracelet. <laughs> wow. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. Oh, my God. I didn't know it was a bracelet. I thought they were tassels. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, yeah. That's one in my jewelry box. Then we got these. Let's see if we can pull out of here. That's true. Barbara, Barbara Higgins said waiting is better than paying an arm and a leg because you would have paid an arm and a leg if you got that in the States. True. But sometimes it's better to keep your money in the States than across the sea. Depending on what mood you're in. Yes. Keep America beautiful, people. And then this little thing, which is an abalone shell... And then it's got this little, oh my God, you can't see it. It's like, I want some of these. I'd like to figure out where to find them. This little angel. Look at that little angel. That is beautiful. It's very different. It's very different. And she sent a little pink crystal heart. So that, I think, is going to go maybe on, because I want to have some dangles off the binder. Oh, Lord. Look at this baby. I mean, hey, now. That's quite thick, too. I mean, just, wow, look at all the stuff that she had hoard, hoarded. Gosh, and more. I think I've got quite, oh, look at this. It's even got the opal rhinestones. Oh, wow. I don't know. That's not going to go on the wedding album, though. Um, uh, Barbara here's... asked, if, uh, hold on, Martha. Uh, Barbara asked, would you show the angel again, please? It's just, it's as, like, big as my thumbnail. Wow. That's probably the time I need my autofocus on, right? No, I thought and I could see it, yeah. These are got teardrops, which I think I'm going to use for um, a Christmas ornament. And some rondelles and a really dangly ball. And these are really cool. 
<clears throat> and then we've got pinks and purples. Some of these are going to go on the um, ribbons. Look at these. Oh, well, I guess they're little angel wings. I was thinking they were bows, but they're little angel wings and they're wow. pink. I mean, there's a good variety of colors in there. Um, okay, Chris. This is what I was looking for. Well, I was looking at, at Hobby Lobby with some of these. And I thought, well, I can make my own little sprigs to go around because I'm going to do flowers on the front, you know? Yes. And it's like how perfect she came in just at the nick of time. That is beautiful. Okay. So let's see what we got here. We've got a little pink set. Wait a minute. Let me put my autofocus back on. And you can't see through the bag. This thing almost looks like a crown. I ought to put it on one of my lions. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's pretty neat. Well, I'm glad you're yeah. getting your... Joanne's getting her uh, technician to come. Her internet's been really bad. I hope you can see it. I hope you can see the show, Joanne, because Martha's showing some very lovely pieces that she received. These are all like jewelry pieces. You can make bracelets and stuff out of the camera don't seem to be working very well, does it? And then we got some buttons. Um, I can't, yeah, different size buttons, different shapes. This one's really cool. Those are cool. pretty. <laughs> Joanne missed all the bling. There's too much to <laughs> Joanne, you're going to have to rewatch the video. I think uh, Phyllis sent all of this to you. Is that correct? Yes. And this is another frame. You, oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that one's really cute. I might have to color that one. She got a lot of bling, Joanne. Oh, my and gosh. You are going to, like, there's a little green eye jealousy going on around here right now. And then we've got, now see, I'm doing hers in silver. Oh, and I love making bracelet out of these. These are great for bracelets and whatnot. This one's really cute. I might put that bow on there somewhere. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's How cute. How cute is that little bow? And then we've got a heart and a key and a pearl ring and another heart. The heart's got a little bow on it, but I wish these were in silver. Okay, that's what I wanted was a heart and a key. But. Barbara's drooling over the angel. Shelly missed the start of it. It's been hit and miss. I'm sorry. I started and just went gangbusters. Martha said I should have waited a little while and chat for everybody to come in. Um, Telly's saying it's beautiful. Christine's on the phone with her husband. Let's see. I think I got everything. I think I'm going to make a ring out of that. Maybe. I don't know. It might go on. If I can. I doubt if I can get a ribbon through it. It might go on there. I'm not sure. But. Then this is. I'm making a necklace out of this baby. It's a 3D heart with pearls in it. Wow. And I like hearts and I like gold and I like pearls. So there, there I'm making out of that. Oh, yeah. And then here's this thing. I also ordered some lilac embossing powder. Put that over there. And then here's the last package, which we will go through because I have no idea what's in here. I didn't go through it. Okay, we've got, ooh, petals. And, ooh, look at them roses. Wow, what are they? Paper or, oh, no, they're, no they're not paper. No, they're not paper at all. 
little flowers and little hearts and a little rhinestone with something yeah and these got an AB kind of shiny finish on them very pretty I'm probably going to go on there and let's see what oh we got <gasps> lilac bows ah oh, wow and white bows and a cream one and then we've got it looks like right here it's a lilac um rondelles Woo, boy phyllis i tell you what honey and what do we have here? We have an AB. This is AB um, bead spacers, which kind of look like a rondel with some E beads. Okay. What's my size eight or six, whichever. We call them all E beads. Then we've got a pink rose. Oh, another shiny rose and some lilies. Nice. Them lilies are pretty cool. Yeah, they are. And then. What pretty are color, too. Oh, <laughs> lilac little bells. Little tulip bells. Oh, my God. Boy, I tell you what. She put enough to put. Uh, I can make four emblems out of this stuff. That's what Barbara Higgins said. You can make ten albums. Joanne's back. And I, Christine's husband is somewhere between where? He's halfway between Chicago and St. Louis. So no. that was all the stuff that I got from her. And I'm pretty sure I think that's all I had to show and tell. Wow. Yeah. So I, Jeez, I'll peace, Phyllis. I'm going to split the screen. Is that okay? Go ahead and put on your stuff. I'm going to go make me a sandwich. Okay. I'm hungry. All right. Oh, and then when I did that, I lost the chat. Okay. Hold on. We'll figure. Ah, well, got you it. Know, you always got to pop that baby back up. I know. It's a pain. Okay. Yeah, so, pain. this is, in case who's ever didn't see it since I started, this is a piece of wood. I'm cutting a polymer clay cane, making slices, a checkerboard pattern. This is going to be the bathroom floor to a witch's bathroom in a castle and now i'm getting a phone call okay well just going to ignore that ignore that we're going to try to ignore that now okay let me hold on one second sorry guys this is like lovely going live wait okay it's being picked up all right so when you Okay. Um, when you make a polymer clay cane, you make it bigger. And then I should have showed it online. And I might just do that when I do my own, uh, you know, no, a separate little video. Uh, you have to stretch it out. And it gets smaller and smaller. I could even reduce this cane more to make these really little tiny. But I thought that this would be the right size for the uh, size of the witch that I'm doing. Now, yeah, any tinier, you'd have all white, barely even see them. Yeah, way. it's very hard. And then, um, it's not, I am not, I am not going to say that I am a cane expert at all. It's all a little shifted, but I don't, because it's, it's sort of for a witch's castle and I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, it, it would get me crazy if I was trying to do it exactly in lines and stuff. And it's just another texture that's going to be there this is going to be on the floor of course on the floor uh, so when you're cutting a cane you have to get one of these sharp blades and this one's really sharp this is my new one this is my old one and it's not as sharp i can pick it up from the blade side and it wouldn't cut me but this this one is exceedingly sharp and it's pretty it's a stiff blade you can't get one of those blades that are really very um you know, they can bend a lot. This one's pretty stiff. And you have to make sure when you're cutting it 
that you, you almost get above the cane to make sure that the blade is going straight through. Now, this is the first time I'm cutting into this cane, so there is going to be a lot of scrap clay. I probably could use that, but I have plenty of cane to use. It was a little uh, bumpy on this side. It's a little, I don't, you can't see it. There's no way I can get you to see that it's bumpy on that side. So I'm just going to uh, put that on the side. Now with all this scrap clay, I can just, people do other things with it, but I can just blend it together. It'll make a, a dark gray, maybe even a medium gray, and I could use it for other things. Or I could use it for the, when you're with polymer clay, a lot of times you layer clay, so you have a base clay. So you can um, use this as the base and put the clay that you really want to use or the color you really want to use on top of it, as long as it's not a really light or translucent clay, because then you'll see that there's some kind of darkness underneath it. So you have to get above it and you're trying to cut straight down. And you're trying to make sure that your fingers aren't underneath it. Once you get a slice, I put a liquid, plus I'm dropping everything, liquid Sculpey black polymer clay on top of this. First, I painted it with the gesso, and then I just put some of that on top of the wood uh, just so that it, it just sticks a little bit better, so the cane sticks a little bit better. And I'm trying to fit, okay, fit it in there, and I'll take my old blade and try to squish it a little bit so it lines up. I'm going to go over all of this with my roller because this, you know, unless you're a machine or really good with, with cutting canes, this is not really flat. But again, I'm not going to worry about it. Hopefully it bakes and it, everybody stays together. That's my main concern. That's why I put the liquid polymer clay on the bottom. Um, and then, of course, I have to trim it around the edges, but I'm just trying to get the pattern done right first. So that's what we're up to. I should really, sh I've showed everybody the side of the castle. I'll bring over the bathtub if you give me a second. I wanna show you what I've been doing with the bathtub. I think I put a picture in the chat on the bathtub, um, but I didn't like that the stickers that I used were very flat. I, you could see it uh, when I painted it black that you could see that there was texture there, but it wasn't enough texture. So what I did was I took some of my uh, liquid pearls and I went all over the stickers because liquid pearls has a little bit of depth to it. Now, of course, it was gold because I don't have black liquid pearls. So I'm going to spray paint this again so it's all black. Um, then, But before then, I was looking at it, and the tub just looked, in between all the swirls, the tub just looked too flat to me. So I took a little uh, of the a gloss paste, you know, whatever. Again, I don't know what it's called. I really should have everything here. And I just stippled it on. So it has a little bit of a rougher texture. So once I spray paint this all black, I can then, it's gonna be a flat black. It's not gonna be shiny because the outside of bathtubs, usually these old clawfoot tubs were usually not shiny. Um, I can add a little tones of color to it, a uh, little washes of color, maybe like a little rust stains and here and there on this. The feet, I will be going over with silver uh, waxes or silver paint and then adding just a little ru um, rust texture to it. And that's how the tub will be sitting on the floor. So 
that we're getting there. It's a lot of steps to creating all of this. Thank you, Barbara. A lot of different steps. Thanks, Shirley, uh, to getting this piece together. But uh, I, I don't know if any of you ladies have ever experienced this, but right around the holidays, I went through a little bit of, of a lull of what I wanted to create because I wasn't, I love doing my mice, but um, I don't know. There's so many other things I'd like to do. One of the things I'd like to do is making little scenes or making little accessories. And, and you're I, really, good at it. I enjoy that. I don't know where her goblet went. It's somewhere, somewhere here. And I just decided that sometimes you get, I got caught up into what do I think is going to sell and trying to make things that are going to sell too thin, trying to make things that are going to sell. Um, but it, if it's not fun, then it really, I have to rethink things. Because, you know, doing art for me was supposed to be fun. And if I'm not having a good time doing it, well, I mean, I was having a good time. Why is this so big? I was having a good time doing it, but it's not as much fun as I trying to tackle on a project like this where there's a lot of different things that you have to do. You have to paint. You have to um, make tiles. You have to figure out how to make a round circle you know, a round circle structure, which was very interesting on how to do this. This is paper mache and texturing it. That was a lot of fun. I, I find it more satisfying if I'm doing a lot of different things than just needle felting something. Are you back? Oh, you're back, Martha. You want me? I'll split the screen. No, oh, I'm eating. You're eating? Okay, Martha's eating. That's why I'm not splitting the screen. And I'm going to mute. Okay, you're going to, oh, you're muting yourself? Okay, Martha's muting while she's eating. So I just wanted to come on. I don't know if any of you are interested in making polymer clay canes. Uh, there's a lot of very nice articles about it to do it. And it's a little something different. I've seen a lot of bracelets. You know, they used to make bracelets or jewelry with it. I don't know why some of, I guess I'm putting too much pressure so I should cha cha uh, turn the cane over each time I cut it because one side is getting longer. Oh, and then does she likes the outside of the castle just the way it is. Oh, thank you, Christine. Well, what I'm going to do with this, with this part, is I'm going to put a black wash over it so you can really see the inside of the nooks and crannies. The nooks and crannies. And then I'm going to use different color grays on the outside and then the last, you know, in dry brush, the lighter tones on there. Um, there's just a couple of things, like I was saying that I have to figure out because I might be putting some lights over here, like some candles and they might either the uh, battery pack might either, I might make something over here to hold the battery pack, or I might even make something on the outside of the castle. So I have to figure all of that out before I start painting, but I thought that getting the floor down and finally getting the floor done would be the step that I'd have to do before I figured out where I'm going to be hiding the battery pack. Because I always like to, in any of the things that I've done using lights, um, I always hide the battery pack so people can't see it. I have made some sculptures with uh, lights in them. And hiding the battery pack was always uh, very interesting, trying to figure out where you're going to put it because you don't want people to see 
the battery pack. But you want them to have easy access to it at the same time so that they can turn it on and off or change the battery. I was thinking, yes, uh, behind or under the tub would be a good place for it because I'm not, like I said before, I'm not attaching the tub um, to the piece so that it would make it easier to ship if someone decides to buy it and if, you know, or whatever happens to it. And then there's a lot of things that I have to figure out on this yet. Um, like the round window. I don't know if I made it big enough, but that's the size it's got to stay because I can't, I really can't cut any more of it out right now. Um, so I have to figure out how to do the window. I, I've already figured out how to, I have the plastic. I'm going to use acrylic. Some, um, I'm trying to use things that I have in the house. I'm really trying not to buy anything because I really want to utilize all the, the stuff. You start collect, everybody here is a crafter. They start collecting stuff like the wooden wainscoting that I'm going to use for this is all Starbucks coffee stirrers that Every time my daughter goes to Starbucks, she always picks me up a coffee stirrer just because it's fun, you know, because I told her I would need them for a project. So I've collected quite a few coffee stirrers. So I'm going to use all of those. Uh, the, pay, the polymer clay, of course, I had. This is just the same stuff that I used on my green man. Um to get this texture, this was a lot of fun. I don't know if you can see all the texture to that. This was fabric that, let me let me see if I can go find it. Of course, um, I, let me see, hold on guys. Oh yes, good. Someone sent me this fabric. Well, I bought it, but they sent it to me and I didn't think I love this type of fabric, but I also have it in blue and black. Uh, it It's iridescent, but the iridescent is that green, just green and orange. When I saw it, I thought it was going to be like a blue iridescent to it. So what I, I use this is I Mod Podge to give texture. I Mod Podge the fabric down here. And I put two layers of the fabric down. And then I just gessoed this. So it gives it a really interesting texture to the walls. What did you mold that over? This I had, someone had given me, it was a two part process. I'm gonna flip this around. Someone had given me about five or six of these wooden th these wooden circles that they had their husband had made for some reason, but they didn't need them anymore. And I kept on saying, "What am I going to use these for? I have no idea." So what I did was I had a brass tube that was exactly the size of the circle. So I put the brass tube through five or six of them, and so it was all like a roll and then I took cardboard this is a pizza box from Trader Joe's and I put this was another tip I wanted to give everybody if they wanted to make things I I don't use just paper I was thinking of using like I see it on t um, on other YouTube channels I was thinking of using the foam board but I got a little concerned about it because, again, when you ship something, the foam board would bend or, like, might bend or, like, uh, get nooks in it that you didn't want because I don't know how firm it is after you do all of this. This stuff is as hard as a rock. So I had to figure out something else. So I took the pizza box from Trader Joe's, and I took screen mesh, and I stapled it on the front and the back, the inside and the out. And then I also put some uh, very thin wire 
I ran wire through it and I laid the cardboard over these five or six wooden things here and spread them out and use masking tape. There's a lot of stuff underneath here. And then Nikki had sent me, I had wanted on one of her shows. What do you call that stuff, Martha? I know, are you still muted? Maybe you'll come back. What do you call that stuff that you use to glue things on mixed media? I forgot what it's called. Um. <laughs> you, you guys know what I'm, what I'm saying. Yeah. I got it on so, here somewhere. It's some kind of gel or whatever. So I put that down first between right on the cardboard and the mesh. And then I laid my paper mache on here. Uh, and then I drew my lines in. And I had to do it in sections. So when this section dried, I left one wooden piece here and I moved all the other wooden pieces down to this side so it would be support. Gel medium. Thank you, Telly. Gel medium. And yeah, that's what it was, gel medium. Gel medium. <laughs> That's the same thing. Good. That's the same thing I used here. Gel medium, only it was clear gel medium. Okay. That's the thing I keep forgetting. All right. So then when this side was, when well, it was first this side. And when this side dried, I put it in the oven because there was nothing that would stop it at 180 degrees. I left it in there, I don't know how long, four or five hours just to get it to dry out because this stuff takes a long time to dry out. When that dried out, I left one piece of wood under here and I put all the other pieces, I moved all the other wood down here so I could mold that. Once this was totally dry, I started working on this side. And I wanted the wainscoting to come out a little bit so that because I might want to do it because I'm going to put a shelf here. So I, I glued on with the gel medium some corrugated cardboard that seemed to be bending very well. And then I started with, I put the gel medium up here and then I put the fabric and then I put two layers, like I said, and there was Mod Podge between the fabric. And then I just gessoed it a couple of times. So it looks like an old, you know, it looks like an old castle wall. Um, I don't know. I'm basically going with white and black, but of course there's going to be a lot of tones because I'm not going to leave it as straight white. I will put in other colors, whether I use watercolors or chalk paint just to age it a little bit. But there's still things I have to figure on the window. And I know Christine was telling me a tip. Mod Pod and food coloring make stained glass. Excellent. I have this, you know, I found out, which was another little experiment I did. I have fabric, puff fabric paint. And I would also the um, the pearls, the liquid pearls. And I was practicing on a piece of acetate, like not acetate, that thick plastic stuff you get packaging on when you get supplies, something in the mail. So, um, and I found that the fat, the puff fabric paint stays on the clear, you know, the clear acrylic, whatever acetate a lot better, the clear packaging, a lot better than the liquid pearls. The liquid pearls can chip off. So I'm going to be using puff paint, puff fabric paint as the letting for the window. Yeah, now everybody remembers that it's called gel medium. Thank you, Telly. So, so this was exciting for me because there's a lot of um, different things that I have to figure out. Uh, they're still on the floor. I'm going to be cutting a few more, but I still, I'm not going to be cutting around the edges because I still want to figure out exactly what I'm going to do for the edge. So right now I'm just cutting it and putting it on top. And then I'm going to use my roller to try to smooth it out a little bit and hopefully um, make all of the sides, you know, from one cane to another connect. And then we're going to bake it and hopefully it'll come out okay. And you know what? The whole good thing about this is since it's not attached, if it doesn't come out okay, I can start all over again and just learn from my mistakes that I made. If it, you know, if it pops up, if it doesn't, because polymer clay can get a little funny sometimes in the oven because it does shrink a little bit. 
Not a lot, but a little bit, but it can get a little funny sometimes. But we're hoping it doesn't with this. So that's what I've been up to. Just trying to figure out different pieces to this um, project. I was going to wrap, I'm thinking of, I, I know what you're saying, that I should wrap the tiles all around, but I wanted, I have, um, uh, I have, okay, Telly, what do you call those, what do you call those? Moles, okay. I have moles that make very pretty um, molding things. Oh, I'm really good with the words, Martha. They would give me an award for YouTube by knowing what all the products are. <laughs> Holy moly. You so, know where your brain's going. It just won't come out your mouth. I, I just don't know whatever, you know, I know what it is. It's like uh, the, it's a mold that has a pretty trim. So I was just because, where is, where is the thing here? Let's see. Is there a side? I, where I'm putting it here. I'm going to do this upside down. We got to move you out of the way. And I can't even put her in anymore because I have, I was going to just have, because it's attaching here, like a, 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 a base mold trim around here and maybe a uh, ribbon first down for more texture. Polymer clay doesn't, I don't trust it to bend like this over the edge, you know, all of it. And, or even if I did it and not crack, cause this is not a straight, this is not a straight thing. This is sort of, uh, it's a rounded a little bit. And I just don't want this thing to crack. So I'm going to use either liquid polymer clay in that mold that I was talking about to make it because liquid polymer clay will bend or the paper clay um, and make like a trim that'll, that'll go around the edge. I'm probably going to do the paper clay because once that dries, it won't crack. I know in the past that there's certain times that polymer clay cracks and I just don't want it to do it on this. Whew. Okay. Martha, please come back in. All this talking is making me very dry and my brain is going crazy. I'm listening, honey. <laughs> Thank you. It's your show. Have at it, baby. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> Great. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what we're up to. It's, it's, it's fun exploring different things. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Right, Martha? Right. We just go back to trying something else. There's been, there's been sculptures that I've tried. Um, I don't know if anybody has seen it in my Etsy store. There's a green mermaid there with the sequence in her. That thing, seriously, uh, I don't I don't even remember what part. I think the whole thing, her tail. It took me three times to make her. And it, that's why she's called like the mermaid from hell. Um, <laughs> I understand because, though there are things that I've done and it just it, it it until you get it done and perfect the way you want it, it can take some time. Yes. A lot of time and and there's a lot of things that have been tossed in the garbage that we don't talk about because it just didn't work but afterwards i can see it not while i'm in the middle of it but afterwards it's the fun of trying to create something new and not do the same thing hi nikki hi Did nikki you what you want I was just thinking you ought to do one of the resin resin pieces and you can melt it, you know, to form around that circle for your base. Right. Yeah. Well, I have I have the um I have the paper clay. That, oh yeah, you know yeah, you can do that. Oh yeah. I was going to use the paper clay. Yeah, with the mold. Okay. With the mold. And that once that, you know, and even if that cracks, that's okay cuz it won't like the polymer clay can sometimes really crack and then it starts coming up. It starts coming off, but I don't think the paper clay does that. 
So that's what we're up to. And then we got to figure out how to make bubbles. I have the materials to make bubble, you know, the bubbles. There, it's a bunch of glass beads in different sizes. So I have to try. I have something to put them in too. I this also is going to be a witch in a bathtub. Yeah. Yep. Let me see the bathtub again. But oh it's going to be this is black. This is going to be all black. And this is just uh, tape because I'm spray painting it. So it doesn't go into the white. All right. I'll be darned. Yeah. I want it. I just want different textures. Oh. So if it did crack, it's okay because it's an old castle. That's true. That's true. We're just hoping that. The floor doesn't crack. Yeah. <coughs> Even if you put Mod Podge on it after it's all done, it'd probably still lift. Uh, well, I'm hoping this doesn't come up. I, I don't think this would crack, but when there's places of transition and like going around the sides, that's where I'm a little bit nervous where it might crack. So. Um, because I've done made pillars like columns with polymer clay and sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't, especially on wood, but this piece of wood has been in the oven because it was drying because it was a part of the mold for the castle. Yeah. So it's been in the oven for a very long time. So the wood is dried out enough where, um, I don't think it's going to warp anymore because a lot of times when you put polymer clay they say not to put it directly on wood because of the, the moisture yeah and like wood would shrink in a different ratio than how the polymer clay would so that adds to stuff but this has been in the oven quite a few times and i've also put uh, put a layer of black liquid polymer clay on top of it so i'm hoping that'll give it enough uh, of a leeway so that if it does one shrinks more than the other It won't affect the tiles here, but if these tiles crack, it's good It's just on the side which I call like places of transition that I'm a little concerned about I need me The link is in um Crazy Craft. I put the link in Crazy Crafters, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, so if you want to come in, Nikki, because I'm I'm just gonna be here for a little while longer because I have to go cook. Martha was showing all those wonderful things she she received for her wedding album wow. that she was making. She got like it was Christmas at Martha's house. No kidding. Bling bling bling. Yep. That was unbelievable. How how very sweet of her to do that. Well, you have all the bling now you need, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Like I said, I could probably make about four or five albums with all that. Well, why aren't you making two? You making two? <laughs> it depends on how much paper I use up for this first one. Oh, okay. I mean, um... I could probably do a black and white one for the neighbor if I really wanted to. Oh, Nikki would be hacking and claw. Are you sick again? Is Nikki sick again? I know Vic is sick. And Shirley. Shirley's sick too? I'm sorry, Shirley. I know. Okay. We have to go through this. She has some. Yeah, I was, I was thinking that box that came today was them, but. We have Nikki sick, Vic sick, Shirley sick. Telly's cutting her fingers. What else? Barbara Higgins puppy. We're worried about you. You said something about Holly. Well, she's doing pretty good. She's feeling a whole lot better. 
And I went in there to go get my aunt's pickles out from the bottom cupboard. My second jar. Uh-huh. And a darn can of mushrooms come out, hit the water bowl, water everywhere. Oh. So I had to clean that up. Bummer. Oh, Telly has an upset stomach besides cutting her fingers. Well, we're a mess. I know. Okay. 2020 has not been good. We got to think the opposite way, though. It's going to get better, right, ladies? Yeah, well, if it starts out crummy, it should end beautifully. We're hoping. Yeah. Okay. Now on to another page. How do I want to make it? <coughs> Uh, we are the walking wounded. Eh? We certainly are. Nikki said we're the walking wounded. Yep, we are. Oh, Christine, what's happening? Wait. Ah, her left knee is really badly. Yep, that counts. That counts. Yeah, no and, infection there. Wow, badly sore. And Shannon has to ha have outpatient surgery on her sinuses on Friday. Oh, my goodness. Are you back on, Martha? Do you want me to put you? This is terrible. Stop, everybody. Okay, everybody just start thinking good thoughts. Yeah, some positive feedbacks. <sighs> I'm going to start sweating. Are you coming? You want me to split the screen? Well, Are you not right at the moment. I'm trying to think of how I want to start this page out. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to be cutting paper. Okay. Well, I'll split the screen. Hold on. Because all I'm doing is pressing tiles. Okay, I'm go sure. ahead and watch me tap my fingers. Well, ta tap your fingers and watch me put tiles on. And I lost the chat again. Oh, my goodness. You friend. do that every time you touch it. You got to bring it back. Well, it's, you know, it's a little annoying. Yeah, it is. A whole lot. And more. Barbara has a terrible headache from all the stress. We're a mess. We're a mess. Joanne? Okay, if you, Joanne, if you're still here, could you let us know how you are? <laughs> I think I got everybody else. Yeah. So, Martha, what was this? Uh, do you want it to, if you don't want to talk about it, just tell me. But there was, a, you mentioned five gentlemen's names. <laughs> what, the heck, what the heck was that? Okay, it's 836. You have, let me see, 84. You have 24 minutes. I think 20 I probably got minutes. 10 seconds. What? Okay, so I, I, I go to the caboose and there's Ian. And it's like, wow, I hadn't seen him in months. So I sat down, talked to him, and Mike Beard was there, and um, and then a little while later, Mark and Nick come in. Now Nick's probably half my age, or a little younger than that, but God, what some pretty brown eyes he's got. And Ronnie, he's just my old buddy. I've known him for like 35 years. I don't know. It was just, uh, mm hmm. And then Jim. Oh my. Oh. Well, who's, who are these people? Jim. Who, oh, by the way, hi, Sherry. Hi, Sherry. This, who's Jim? I have never even heard of half these people. Mark, I knew. Is Mark, that's his name, Mark? Yep. Him, I knew. But who's this Jim person? This Jim has got hair. Oh. Bill. He's got hair. Handsome. Where? Cute. I even got him to dance with me out on the patio last night. <laughs> You're dancing with the gym out on the patio? Mm -hmm. Did we approve, Jim? I don't know. I never even heard of Jim. If you seen know Jim, you would approve. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, would I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And he's a stud and he knows it. And I All am right. definitely not going to be up his call list. That's for sure. But. 
Don't be saying that, Don't say that. Seize the moment. And okay. I did. I seized the moment. <laughs> yes, we need pictures of all these people. You mentioned five guys. I only know what Mark looks like. I'm like, what? who are these people? They have not gone through the approval process. You don't need approval process. Only I do. <laughs> Make me feel better, Martha. I need to have the approval well, process. Well, y'all know Ian. I've talked about Ian before. I don't know Ian. Who's this Ian person? Oh, my God. I What? Oh, my God. I'm cutting time. Well, a couple of years back. Oh. Well, I didn't know you were I only know you for about two years, is it now? I don't know. You, know, uh, you don't know me a little longer than that. Three, yeah. I don't remember because it's been it's been a few freaky things that have occurred along the way. Okay, I'll just leave it at that. Okay, we want pictures of all these people put in chat. I mean, not in chat, in the crazy crafters group, so I can approve them, even though I don't need to approve them. Yeah, when you see Jim, you're gonna you're gonna be calling in fractions left and right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get a little, get a little <laughs> color for this gym person. Well, the last yeah. time I seen Mark, Mark's hair is grown out. He likes his hair nice and short, but he's got curly hair, so all his back back here is all flipping up and everything, you know. And I was running through my hair, my fingers through it though, that one day, and he says, "If you pull it, you better mean it." And I grabbed a hold and I just. Oh, <laughs> you better mean it! Wow. Yeesh. Yeesh. Okay, we'll pull don't in hands. Don't, because I will. <laughs> pull in hands, okay. So I don't know. I was I was out on a patio with Mark, and I was trying to get Ian jealous, and I was trying to get Mark jealous with Ian. And Oh, you were working the room or the patio. Yeah, it was the patio. Did you have fun? Yeah. Okay, that's all that really matters. Yep. Mark even took, um, Ian took Mike home and he come back. I had another beer with him and because he bought me a couple beers and I didn't eat again. It's like, Ooh. I got to go. He said, you leaving? I said, yep. It's like, no, you ain't following me home tonight. Nope, nope, nope. Ain't working. Telly says 2017. I have no idea anymore, Telly. Has it been that long? That's a long, that's three, three years. I guess it has. How interesting is that? Late 2017, maybe early 2018. Okay. So I don't know this Ian person. No, but I do. Okay, um, so in... Yeah, how did I meet Ian? I, it was, oh, we was to go up to the Fatten Road Tavern. Okay. It's no longer open. So I ended up putting the little black edges on the papers, which I really liked. It looks so much better in the camera than it looks in real life. That's a yeah. first. All them crooked lines. The crooked lines, yeah. They can't. Crooked lines are good. It's okay. Okay, purple paper. Purple people eater. I guess I'll just do all the pages purple. Oh, excuse me, I do them lilac, and I forgot what size I'm making. <laughs> oh, crap. So I'm making six and three quarters by, it's supposed to be eight and a half. Six and three quarters by eight and a half. Along with my new cutter. Look at Nikki. Look at Nikki. I got me cutter. And look at Nikki. I 
Hmm. All right. Six and three quarters by eight and a half. Now, I got to try to figure out how I can figure out what to put in these lum lumbers so I can see them. Thank you, Shirley. Yeah. Have you know great line. He? Shirley said she never knew a, a witch with a straight line. I can't see the numbers. Well, it's the bathroom tiles on the floor, and it's old. Yeah. Things shifted. We'll make a story as we go. Look at that. It cuts so nice. It cuts. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. So out of line. Is it my six and what did I say? Oh, God. <clears throat> Made it. Okay, then it's so supposed to be six and a half. I'm gonna turn it over it and cut that. it on this side so that way. But I'm not gonna do that tonight. I'm just gonna wait because I want to see how I'm sitting with this. I'm not sure I'm liking this. So we just have to sit with it for a little bit. Sometimes things look better in the morning. Look like old. God, look old like the witch. Yep, we gotta have it. Okay. No. Nah. I think it was probably 2017. I think you were right, Kelly. Okay, now how come they did not come out the same size? Or, or 2018. Explain that. Because I remember the... Because like I said, when I get depressed, I go and watch Crystal's uh, Christmas Cloche. Um... And that was definitely in 2018. At the end of 2018, uh, the Christmas clothes, the last two hours, that's when Vic was having problems with her uh, her greenhouse, and she was texting, she was writing in the group all those crazy things. So maybe it started in 2018. So it's been about a year to two years, at least over a year. That's what I'm thinking. When did your mom pass away, Kelly? Because, yeah, I know you you missed a lot of it. What year did your mom pass away? I remember, yes, that was an issue. I remember that, too, now. That was going on. Okay. So it's 2000. I'm sorry. I can't see all of chat because the way it's popping out, my screen is too small. So I saw 1419. Okay. So I think it was, well, was just last year. It was what? No, that okay, it says spring 2018. Yeah, I think it was sometime in 2018. Or we all started to, we might have been together before, but we all started to get more together later on in 2019. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Debbie's Hi, Debbie. here. It always happens. Well, 
All right, now I just got to remember that that's going to be the opening to put it in the book. Right, right, right. So if we're going to pull something out here, let's take oh, the big punch. Let's get our middle settled here. We got five. So we got three, one, two, three. All right, there's the middle. Try to do that before you put it in there, right? better on the screen than it does i don't know we'll have to see we'll have to see you know you know what i have to do i have to get my daughter down here she always she always because the way that the tiles some of them don't look like they're sort of square anymore they still look all sorts of things which is okay i guess but my daughter always yeah she always what my daughter is always very good with that. She, you know, you always have that person in your life, or at least I've been lucky to have that person. I could look at something, try something five different ways, and she comes down, looks at it for two seconds, and says, Mom, why don't you just do that? And I'm like, oh, here I am struggling, struggling, trying to figure it all out. And two seconds later, there she is. She gives it to me, one, two, three. It's amazing. So I'll ask her later on tonight to take a look and see if she's like it. The tub will definitely <laughs> cover part of it. Yes, the tub is going to cover most of it, as a matter of fact. It's just, but I'm not putting the tub on. I'm not putting the tub on permanently. So I just want to make sure that it looks okay. I'll ask her. She'll tell me. She'll tell me the truth. She always does. <coughs> oh, goodness. I got a tickle. Wonky is good. Yeah, it should be a little wonky. But some of the tiles look a little, like almost not. I don't know if I could take out a certain. We'll have to see. Like I said, if I don't like this pattern, I can do it in all different ways. This was just something that I thought would be fun. I can cut out not small pieces of paper like this, but I could cut out different pieces of paper and glue them down too if I had to. Happy accident. Yeah. I think Shirley must be feeling badly. She didn't do the med check, or is it not? It's too soon to do the med check. Too soon. Oh, okay. Forget that. No, no mention. No Turn around, got up at eleven thirty, stayed up till three or three thirty, and went back to bed, and didn't get up till eleven. So when did you take your meds? No, eleven thirty, twelve. Oh, oh, that's. All right. I can put it on you because I'm really not doing anything. I'm just sort of. It's your show. They want to watch you. I'm not doing anything. I'm sort of done. I have to think. See, that's what happens when I, you know, when I do a live show, that's the problem with it is because a lot of times I just have to sit, look at it and think about it for a while and get my daughter down here. A bathroom rug. Yeah, I could do a rug. Well, do something else then. Just let that sit for a bit. Do well, something not. else. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. 
The only other thing I have to do is glue more leaves, <laughs> glue more wires on the back of those leaves that I'm not going to, I'm I'm just hanging out watching you because I am going to go in a little bit, but you know what, Martha, if you want to stay on, I'll leave the channel on for a little bit. You want to do that? Um, why don't you get your mold and put your clay in it and that can be hardening up when you, you know. I could do that, but no, because that's the, the paper clay. Uh huh. You have to take it out right away because it's going around. I could show it you the mold. Or are you going to apply it just to the round yeah. wood? Yeah. Uh huh. Just to, I have to cut this out, which I don't feel like doing right now. And then I got to take it and I'm just going to apply it around here. But then I also want to think of if I want to glue some other texture here first like a ribbon or fabric because fabric once you glue it down is fine and then i have to bake this i'm sorry what don't the bait let that shrinkage show up uh yeah but then I, I cutting it might be cutting it might crack it cutting the clay after well before it um after it bakes we'll crack it all right i figured since it was thin uh -huh. enough it wouldn't crack but what's that between a eh and an alt what eh, uh is that what i said uh -uh. Probably. <laughs> they're mocking you baby they're mocking you they're mocking me oh how bad are they oh phyllis <laughs> is here phyllis, you missed your <laughs> they're terrible aren't they Phyllis, you missed your whole thing. This is, this is the Phyllis, right? No. Oh, sorry. Phyllis, hi. <laughs> this isn't Wrong the one. Phyllis. Wrong Phyllis. Sorry. Hi, Phyllis. Here we go. Uh, a poor thing doesn't. I thought you were the lady that sent Martha all these beautiful things. I don't want you to think I'm making fun. I'm getting Christine mocking me. <laughs> I thought you were the person. I'm sorry, Phyllis. Well, that's who I kept hey. thinking it was, was this Phyllis. But her name is Phyllis Shadowins. Is that what you go oh. by, Phyllis? You no, know, I don't think so. Oh, I'm not staying. You don't have to try to stay up late, Phyllis. I'm not going to be here for much longer. Yeah, she slaves for her children. She won't be here longer. No, I have to. I'm going to go make some more food for my son. See, my daughter and I were bad. We ate all the pasta and we didn't leave him any. So I have to go make more pasta for him. Ah. Yeah. We were I was going to ask what you were going to make anyway. I'm sorry? I was going to ask what you were going to make anyway. Yeah, I'm going to make. I have some. <laughs> I'm going to make more pasta for him, the poor thing. So he has food yeah, no to eat. And then I got it. And I got to set up for tomorrow. You know, when you wake up at five o'clock, you try to minimize how many things you do so you don't walk into walls. Oh, and look at that. It is way beauteous. No? How did is I that get that Six and three quarters. I cut it at six and a half. Oops. Oops is right. Back to the drawing board. Sugar. I don't like wasting paper like that. But I'm sure I can tear that apart and use it for other pieces. Yep. So I'm glad I looked at that. Six and three quarters. Measure it again. By eight and a half. Six and three quarter by eight and a half. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. It was a quarter inch too short. What? What an excuse just to use my new trimmer, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's okay. My keyboard is misbehaving. Okay. Add a backing. Can Shirley and Christine are saying, can't you add something? Add a backing or something so you don't ruin another piece of paper. Oh, not ruin, use another piece of paper. 
I'm hoping that's the three quarters. Oh Lord. The way to figure that one out is that's a good way to figure it out. Okay, fine. That'll work. You know what, Martha? I was thinking, oh, you you don't have a smartphone. No, I do not have a smartphone. Do you have a phone that you can put it on speaker? Uh, no. Ah. Uh, not really. Wow. Okay. Because I know if you just went on YouTube, straight YouTube, you can go on straight YouTube live, right? Um... Uh, because I, I don't know, I was hearing that you needed, like, different things. But I think you can still go straight live on YouTube. But And you can have someone talk to you if you had somebody on the phone. Um, and just, just put it by your speaker. Or your microphone, rather. I did want to go live and show everybody my stuff, and then it's like, well, poop. Okay, let's make sure I didn't cut it wrong this time again. That looks pretty darn good. Yes, Phyllis, it is the self-sharpening one. And I didn't know, but Nikki's got one too. But look, it's got a light. Takes okay. four AA batteries. Uh huh, uh huh. I put it on you, Martha. Oh, gee, thanks, June. You're welcome. July 4. So I don't know what I'm doing, and I just stuck that to paper. doing and actually I ain't not I am not done with that page because I didn't make the insert for it uh -oh. yeah it was right I'll be right back So, do you think her witch she's going to make for this is going to be a mouse? Or is it going to be that little? I had bought, or got, probably bought at a rummage sale, a brass bathtub. One of them legged ones like that, the old-fashioned bathtub. And I swear to God, I left it up north, and I was going to put, I went and got sand. I mean, it was it was about like that big. I was going to put sand and put some shells in it and put it up on the counter. Well, I went digging through my stuff up there and I couldn't find it. It's like, oh, God, did I throw it away? Because I remembered I was going to use it for something else. It's like, oh, it would work perfect for that. But no, I can't find it. Bummer deal. I tried watching some page constructions today for the albums, and it's like, eh, I can't find nothing. Yes, that'll work. middle up here again oh we got six oh look it's not six and three quarters now how did that happen uh, 
how come it come out one sixteenth bigger than what I cut it? No oh, crap. Okay, so I'm going to take the open end, which is this one, and I'm going to cut that one tiny little thing off. So... And this trimmer will not. Ain't that cool? <laughs> it will not cut hard or uh, heavy chipboard and things of that sort. Do not carry it from here, it does say. Oh, and then look. Christine, you're not going to see the Nike witch. She's going to be bubbles. It's going to, she's in a bubble bath. So even though she will be naked, you won't see her naked parts. Is she going to be a mouse? No. Nah. What's she going to be? A regular. Here, hold on. Rose Kelly is amazing. Okay. I'm splitting the screen. Where, where's my Rose bag? Kelly Gypsy Rise tutorial. Okay. Put I the link in there, hold back. Yeah. Oh, look at that nose. <laughs> oh, man, she looks good. Yeah. Is that the one you were playing with a while back and you couldn't get something about her cheeks or something? Uh, who knows? One? No, that was that this one. There's so many of them that uh, there's so many I've been working on. It's not this one, right? This is the, no, no, I don't think it was that. That one um, might have been. No, this is um, this is her face right now. And I'm doing her body, but I had to break her. I don't want to, I don't like showing. I know she's, it's all right. Yeah, be um, proper. Yeah. Um, I had to break her arms. See, this is polymer clay. I had to break her arms because they weren't sitting on top of the tub the way I want to them. So I break it. I'm going to fill it in. I didn't finish her hands or anything because this is the hand that's going to be holding the goblet that I made. A, I sent a picture. I think I sent a picture in Crazy Crafters of the goblet I made. So the only thing you're really going to see probably of her body is some of her shoulders, her elbow, you know, some of her arms and her knees. They're going to stick out above the water little and the toes. I want to show, I'm going to sculpt the toes. I want to have fun sculpting the toes on the feet. Thank you. So she's going in the bathtub, which is here. Which has got to get painted. Lots of steps going on here. I think it'll be okay. I think it's going to look fine. I talked to my daughter while I muted, and she said she sort of like she likes the line. Well, I was trying to um, roll out the lines, but she likes the lines in the clay. So I'm just going to leave it. Yeah. I'm always can try to do it again if I don't. Well, yeah, if it's really you gotta hard roll it to make it all connect together. Yeah. Just for that. We'll see. And of course I lose every time you do a thing, it you lose it. Oh, it's on it's on kittens. I put it on kittens, the goblet. I don't know where I put it. <laughs> <laughs> you should know me by now. I, world. I have no idea where I put things. I don't even know where it is to show you. Where where did I put it? See, there's so many things going on here. I don't even know where everything is. Oh, hold on. Oh, that. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing the edge of this one, but I am. Here's a goblet, and then I got to put a drink in there. Oh, oh, wow. 
Now, did you buy that or make it? I made it. What did you make the glass part out of? This is polymer clay, and this is polymer clay. And there's a pin in here that goes straight down that I attached all this other stuff to. Oops, My that God, I attached June, to. I like that. You have to show me yeah. how to do that. I can make some goblets for Santa's house. So okay. If I ever get enough time to get to Santa's house. Maybe we'll work on Santa's house. I wanted to work on him, the house during Christmas, during December, but guess what? That didn't happen. Yeah, a lot of things, a lot of things didn't happen. And here's some practicing for the bubbles. <coughs> this was a while ago. I don't even know what I used. I was practicing <laughs> different, different things, and now I forgot what I used, so it's not very good help. But I have all the glass beads, the glass marble beads. I have them in a couple of different sizes. I you can't, yeah, we can rip this off because it doesn't mean anything anymore because I don't even know what it is. So I'm practicing doing bubbles for the bubble bath. But what I have to do is once the witch is uh, done, she gets, glue, she gets glued into the tub or epoxied into the tub. And then I got to use the resin and half inch layers because i'm using the clear resin right to the point i want and then i have to once that's you know totally whatever like dried cured or whatever then i'm going to put the the uh glass beads on top to make the bubbles and i have it in um the ab finish I have like two or three, I have about three, maybe even four different sizes of the glass marble. So there'll be all sorts of texture. Gel medium, I could use, yes, gel medium. Glitter seed beads in different size. Yep. And then I was thinking, should I make, the, I, I was going to think about making the water green. And then I said, no, I'm tired of, I'm tired of always making, I don't want my witch to have anything to do with green. It's sort of disrespectful. So I'm not going to do that. So we we'll take the bath of green bubbles anyway. Bath bombers. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But I'm just going to do it. I think I'm just going to do it with all my, because I have all the iridescent, you know, you know the AB finish mm -hmm. on the glass marble beads, so I'm going to be using all of those. But that's It'll what we're up great to. Great for bubbles. We'll make her with lots of bubbles, and then there'll be candles and stuff like that. So, all right, that'll be cool. We're gonna have fun. So, what made you come up with this project? I had, you know, I had the bathtub. And originally, I was going to make it a mermaid. And then I saw that other people had did that. So I said, well, I don't want to do that. And then I was looking at Pinterest. And I saw this picture of a gothic tub Ooh. where it had like a octopus on the outside. And that's where the idea stemmed from. I said, okay, I'm going to take my tub. And I'm just going to texture it somehow. Now, this is all going to, for anybody who's coming late, this is all going to get painted black. This is just different things that I was using to make some texture on the tub so it wasn't smooth. Um, and I just said, then when you have a gothic tub, I was thinking, okay, do I want to do a mouse or do I want to do a witch? And then I said, well, I'm going to, I'd rather do a witch because I'm getting tired of felting mice for just, you know, a month or so. Change and then, yes, we just change it up a little bit. <laughs> I said, well, where am I going to put this? And then, after watching all those channels that you and I watch, where they're always building, you know, um, doll houses or pieces of houses, I said, I just gave just got in the mood to try to build something, yeah. So, I said, let me build the outside of a castle, like a castle tower. And that created all sorts of like, how well, how am I going to do that? And that's when I figured out to use these wooden, these wooden things that I have. And I found a dowel that fit directly in the center. So I made it just like a big rolly thing and did it that way to make it round. 
because I thought doing round would be pretty or different than just square. It's awesome that you and I watch a lot of things together like that. Yeah. We and like, I just felt we, like we like the same stuff. Yep. I just felt like doing something a little different. And like I said before, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, I didn't buy anything for it. This is all supplies that I've had it in the house. So if it doesn't work, all it was was time, but it was time that I had a lot of fun trying different things out. So it was worth it. Because sometimes when you do some of these things that I've done, it, it they get a little expensive buying this, buying that, but you know, not all one thing, but if you're buying the fabric that, and then if you're buying some the Savorsky, if I'm saying that correct, is that right? Savar I can never do you know which ones we're talking Savarsky's, about? Ladies? Savarsky's. Savarsky crystals, whatever. Savarsky's. It's whatever crystals you start buying some of them and then you go out and you're buying beautiful gold trim ribbon. I mean, it, it can get a little pricey, not like terribly, but a little. Oh pricey. yeah. Yes. Crystals and, really get pricey. You know, and then the nice fabrics get pricey and then beautiful gold trim gets pricey because you can't just buy one trim. You got to buy three or four different types. So it adds interest. So we can get, you know, a little bit on the expensive side to create something. So that's why I've been trying to use only things that I already have here because also to get rid of some of my supplies because I don't like having a lot of supplies. Oh, Sandra's beating hot treasures is here. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Oh my gosh. I'm loving this clean cut edge. Nice, huh? With uh -huh. that new cutter of yours? Eh? Your new cutter. Yeah, I love it. Who makes that one? Um, the name of it is Cutter Cutter Pillar Crop. Cutter Pillar really Crop. Who makes it? It's not a Fisker's or whatever they call it. in my top. Okay, we're going to glue that. i got to take that back on be losing my batteries and then thinking what the heck now see that's not good uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. we're gonna use some blue tape there that'll work painters tape darn right and I'm looking for a name. But she sees Mickey. There's no name on it. Mickey? Where's Mickey? Mickey. Oh, on Martha's shirt. How cool. <laughs> 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 I'm coming around saying, where the heck is Mickey? Uh, is he another one of Martha's five guys she named? I gotta go check that. <laughs> I gotta go check that thing again. There was so many names. Okay. I'm gonna cut it wrong. I'm gonna go with it. Oh, oh yeah, right. Well, Sandra Martha got early in the video. Martha got a whole bunch of treasures that she's gonna use for her wedding album. And I'm making a floor for a witch's castle, but I've stopped now because I'm at a standstill because I have to, as usual, I have to sit and look and peruse and figure out and see if I like it. And then I got to go cook for my son. What's the why are you using black in the album? Yep, I'm using black. And oh, that's gray. right. Black. Yeah, oh. black and purple. I did you use purple? I thought I saw purple. Lilac. I'm using lilac. 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 Okay, lilac's purple. <laughs> if you say so. Oh, fiddle BD. What the heck did that come from? 
AGG? Yep. Is that your last bit? No, I still got more. I mean, you know, I got Michaels and Holly Hobby Lobby down the street about three minutes. So if I run out of glue, I'm good to go. I'll just have to go buy some more. Good night, Barbara. I hope your head stops hurting soon. I hope everybody starts feeling better. Seriously. I'm going to be going soon anyway. I'm going to go at 930. Potato, 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 potato. Oh. Yeah, Barbara's got a stress headache. I'm trying to remember. Okay, Barbara's got a stress headache. Christine can't walk. Vic is sick. Nikki's sick. Shirley's sick. Talise is sick and could cut her hand. I have to start taking notes, Martha. Well, honey, you better get one fat notebook. Because <laughs> oh. with AGG comes all sorts of stuff. That didn't even look like AGG. It looked clear to me. I thought AGG was what? I said AGE. AGE? Yeah. What's AG? What's AGE? Spell oh, it. Oh, Okay, I'm out of school. No spelling. <laughs> A-G-E is age. I know. I think it is. <laughs> I think by golly, George, she's got it. Hey, you know, I'm out of school. My brain just goes in, yeah, after a day at school, really. Okay. <laughs> I know, Telly. I got it. Um. Dead pink already. <laughs> oh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, are you going to give me a laundry list? Oh, no. Sandra, I can't remember everything. I don't know. You're like turning down, down the radio and you're calling it seem better. I do that, Christine. I know. You. That's so funny that you put that on a Facebook thing because I actually have to do that. If I don't know where I'm going, I have, or yeah, I have to turn off the radio. I can't listen to music and I have no idea why. I have no idea why. Sandra's gonna add her, el her ailments. I have to get the notebook out. I really, I'm trying, because you know, you really want to try to remember and, and ask everybody how they're doing. And I'm, I'm, I, you know what? I'm just going to say generally in the chats, how is everybody? If everybody <laughs> thinks I remembered everything. <laughs> yeah, instead of how is everybody, is how is not everybody doing good today? <laughs> I mean, they're working Nikki to the bone. 50, hurry, hear oh, no. that. We need to go kidnap her. My God, they're stealing her away from us. It's not right. 55 hour week. What is that? 55 hour week? It's not good. It's 10, 20, 30. Okay. That's over 10 hours a day. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That's, that's the bloody right? red oh, or it's 10 hours a day. It's 10 hours a day. It's over 10. You see, I'm out of school. Can't think. It's 10 hours a day they're making her work. Way to That's go, hard. Sandra. Way to go, Sandra. I can't find my glasses. That are, oh, gosh. I look, What happened? What did I do? Okay. Yeah, I can't find my glasses either. Sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm like smacking myself all over the place trying to find my glasses. No, I don't rip it. Dear, guess what I just did? 
to use the flashlight on my phone to find my phone. <laughs> what a crew we are. We really, <laughs> we are in oh, bad shape. Paper wrong. Bad shape we are. We just cut that paper wrong. You did? Yeah. Uh-oh. Oops, oopsie. I'm going to cut it more over here. I was thinking not right. That's the cake. Although I do have another cake. You have another cake? I have another cake. Or I could put the cake on there. But if she puts another. Okay. So if. Let's go like this. If we put this for this picture right here. Okay. I could put a flap here. I could do a flap here. I could do something, and then they can open it up. And I could put like the heart or something here and leave the cake. So this could almost be like the last page because you always eat the cake last, right? That's right. After you smush them in their face. No. Nah. No smushing. Okay, so I think that's going to be a plan. So I'm going to put a marker right here. Okay. I'm going to cut that off. And then I can figure out what not to do next. God, this thing cut so nice. See, on this camera, I know my right from my left. Should have put that black all the way across. Christine says make that a pocket on top. <sighs> Don't confuse me. Don't confuse me. Don't confuse her. I haven't thought about the second page yet. How many pages are you doing? I'm thinking I wanna I wanna try to do at maybe six. Which will be double-sided, you know, six inserts. That's a lot of pages. I believe me, she's probably got tons of pictures. Yeah, I know, but this is just like a special album for those special couple of pictures that you just keep on your coffee table for people. Oh, I've got a four-inch binder i got to fill up. Oh, okay. Then six just, pages sounds good. Yeah. Okie dokie on confusion. <laughs> Christine, you got to come in one of these days. I really wish you would. Oh, look at you. That was a good idea to do that. Yeah, because I'm going to have an insert in here. Nice. But I'll have to cut that because it didn't go right where I wanted it to. But I'm not going to glue this down because I don't know what I want to do to it yet. Oh, you get quiet when you get on? Oh, okay. Well, you can be on and then just, just type whatever you want to say. <laughs> All right. Martha, I'm sorry, but I'm going to get going. That's all right, dear. I can't really think and do these on live, so. Oh, okay. So then you know how how I'm feeling, too. You have to guess. Yeah, sometimes you, you can't talk and think of developing things. It's yep. not unless you know what you're doing. You got everything set out, and then you say, okay, yep. let's do a live, you know. It's yeah, not, not this little impromptu. Yeah, I'm going on. Whatever. I don't know why. Okay. All right, ladies. Oh, you wanted to see all my goodies. I did. I did. I wanted to see all the goodies. I was tired of the cliffhangers, and I wanted to find out about <laughs> the five men. Okay? 
because you just kept on writing these little things in chat and you weren't like giving us more I don't information. Like little secrets. Well, you know, that's not fair. I have enough problems. I think it is fair. <laughs> no, it's not fair. I like you guys to think about it, you know? <laughs> I, I, I don't have enough to think about. Okay. All right. Well, ladies, thank you for all coming on and hanging out with us. We've had we've had some fun, I think. Yeah. Okay. We've had fun. A little hello and goodbye. Yeah, we got we got to see all of Martha's goodies. You got to see my floor um, and all the other things that haven't been done. So, and I have to sit with my floor for a little while and see if I still like it. And um, and we hopefully we'll see you too soon. See you too. What am I saying? We'll see you soon. All right. Gonna we need the answers. Yes, we got the answers. Kelly, we got the answers. That's what we have to do with Martha from now on. We have to go on live so she spills the beans. Otherwise, she keeps it very quiet. I know. She's... Mm -hmm. we got it. <laughs> okay. Well, good night, everybody. Thanks for coming in. Have fun creating. Night, night. Now, how do I... I get bored in a little while. I might come on live, but... Okay. I a few hours left, so I don't know. Okay. Well, I gotta, I gotta figure out how to close everything off. Okay. <laughs> Good night. Bye. Okay. Leave studio. That's how it works. Leave studio. Is that well, how you got to go up in the, you got to oh. go up in the very corner and uh, end broadcast. Oh, end broadcast and then leave studio. No. And then you're going to end broadcast again. And then when all that's done, then you can leave studio. Okay. So I end broadcast End broadcast leave studio. Yep. Just like okay. this. Good night. Good night, Nikki. Good night, everybody.